Hello, this is Johannes. In this demo, I will show you how you can use the SQL Spreads Excel add-in to update a product table in my database. I go to the SQL Spreads tab in Excel and I click the design mode to bring up my databases on the right side. I open up my database, select my product table. The product table will be loaded into Excel. I would like my user to only update a few of the columns. So I go to the Columns tab in the SQL Spreads Designer. I uncheck the Show All checkbox here to remove all the columns and I will add them one by one. Add the name, the product number, the safety stock level, the reorder point, the start date and the end date and the modified date column. Now the user should only be able to update a few of the columns. So I set the other columns to read only. The name, the product number, the start date and the end date. And for the modified date column, I would like the application to insert a timestamp when a row is changed. I go to the settings tab here in the designer and I select my modified date column. Now the application will insert the date and time when a row is changed. I would also like to correct the header names in Excel. I switch back to the Columns tab. Now I can change the names by just updating them here in the list. Product name, and here I will add a space, and also down here. I would also like my users to only be able to update the active product, and to do that I will create a filter that will select only the rows with no end date set. I go to the filter tab, create the new column filter, select the end date column, and select only the rows that are null where there is no end date set. Now I can also hide the end date column. I do that by unchecking the show checkbox here, and it will be removed from the spreadsheet. Now my table is almost ready. The last thing to do is that I would like to sort the table on the product name. So I go to the sort tab, select the product name, and you will see that the rows will be sorted in Excel. So now my table is ready and set up. I turn off the design mode. I can go in and change a few values. I click the save button. I get the confirmation that there are three rows that are changed. So I click OK. The rows are updated in the table in SQL Server. If I have end users that should only work with the data and not do any changes to the setup, I can force the application to disable the design mode and in this way the end users cannot go in and change anything of the setup. In this way, I have in a few steps created an application where my end users can manage and keep the data in my product table up to date.